Hello, uh, in this video we're going to show you how to raise a sales invoice and send it to your customer from FreeAgent. So uh, here we are at the dashboard on FreeAgent. Um, to get to the sales invoice section we simply move up to the work menu item at the top left and then choose the invoicing option. Once in this screen you'll see a list of all your existing sales invoices that you've raised um, and a few, a few bits of information about whether they're overdue um, or the amounts or dates or which customers had what. Um, to add one though we just simply click on the add new invoice button uh, once there. Uh, it then asks us to complete a, a number of fields just to start getting the invoice uh, rolling. So we're just going to work through all these fields uh, logically and fill them in with a typical example of what you might expect to be uh, filling in for yourself. So uh, first of all is the contact. Who is it that we are raising this sales invoice for? Um, so I'm going to choose uh, Air Customer Limited as being the, the chosen customer who this invoice is going to. Uh, we could add a new one at this point if you needed to, um, but uh, Air Customer Limit is fine for this example. Um, Free Agent's very uh, project orientated um, in the sense of you know doing service projects, things like that. Um, I haven't got any set up on this demo, but certainly if you uh, if you are involved in a lot of projects, then what we can do is basically attach this invoice to a project, and then further down the line we can come we can have a look at some reports and see what sort of costs were associated with the project and what sales invoices we've raised against them and then therefore determine some margins and things like that. Uh, but there are no projects in this uh, dummy example so uh, I'm just going to move past that one. Uh, invoice reference number. This will just automatically add one onto the last invoice for us so um, I can pretty much guarantee the last sales invoice raised on this dummy, uh, dummy account is 1002 um, so it's just added one on and dropped that in there for me so that's fine. Um, the invoice date uh, is just basically the date that you want to appear on the invoice as being the tax point. Um, so uh, the 8th of September 18 is absolutely fine for this example. If you wanted to change it, we can just choose from here. Uh, payment terms, this will typically come through from the existing client data. So uh, in one of our other videos where we show you how to create a customer on free agent, um, we put in some default payment terms. And that just helps automate things. And this is one of the screens that it's helped automate because it's brought through that figure there. Um, so we know that we offer these guys 30 days credit by default. Um, we could change it if we felt that actually this is a specific or a special invoice and we actually want just one day uh, credit on this one. This needs turning around pretty quickly. Um, then if we're using multi-currency, we select the currency from here. Um, but in this instance, we're just using pound sterling. Um, and then some additional text that's just going to appear at the bottom of the sales invoice. This isn't the product or the service that we're actually selling. This is just a little note, a little memo. Um, and I'm just going to type in here uh, a little note saying, pleasure doing business with you. Um, just something like that sort of goes in this box. Um, then we're presented with how we want to send this out. So we could, at this point, we could tick this box and say, uh, I want you to send this email out straight to the customer as soon as I've finished it and saved it. Um, so it's just one less thing for you to do. Um, also, we can send an email out saying thank you once we mark it down as being uh, paid by your customer in the future. Um, so I'm going to tick those just to automate my life in the future. So um, it's one less thing for me to do. Um, and then there's a few more very specific options um, that some businesses do get involved with these. So, for example, purchase order reference number, that's quite a common thing still. So if you receive an order number from your customer, then you can attach it to the invoice. Um, we can do one. We can drop it here saying purchase order uh, 12345. Um, what we could also do is uh, mention a particular person's name on that, or we could even provide a discount um, across the entire invoice just to show that we normally bill X, but we're going to discount it by Y. Um, so that results in actually the price is just said this time. Um, but that's fine. I think some of the other stuff on here, uh, fairly self-explanatory. Um, so I'm not going to dip into it uh, at this example. So all we'll have to do then is click create new invoice. And that takes us through to a blank invoice then. Um, and all we have to do is just add an invoice item or add several if you're selling two or three different things. Um, as I've mentioned, Free agents very project orientated and also like service orientated as well. So a lot of the things that appear by default will typically be hours uh, rather than goods or uh, goods or products. Um, so in this instance, I'm just going to say actually we did five hours uh, for consultancy. 
and the unit price per hour is let's say a hundred pounds and we're going to charge 20% VAT on that we could choose five if that was applicable or zero if that was applicable um, and we could also add this to our internal price list so that the next time we sell consultancy we would actually be able to just pull this price up and just attach it there rather than fill it all in um, but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to click create and finish um, and that's entered an, uh, a line item on there of five hours of consultancy at 100 pounds an hour which equals 500 pounds and then it adds on 20% VAT on that to make the entire invoice 600 pounds is what is due for payment um, we could add another line on there if we needed to um, but for this example I'm, I'm happy with that so uh, all that's left to do really is if you wanted to send by email or save as a PDF um, and that's it um, I'm gonna what, what I'm gonna do is actually send by email and what that does is it brings in uh, a default email template that's already been pre-worded you can expand on this as much as you like and um, we'll get on to it in more detail in, in a further video um, but just to give you a little flavor it's sort of it knows who it's coming from uh, it knows who it's going to because we chose a customer limited and that's their email address it gives the subject as being specific to the invoice number and then it says hi a so in the uh, the contacts details a must be their first name uh, please find uh, an invoice thanks uh, John Taylor and we can just send that email then if we really wanted to so I'll click send um, and then that's it basically so uh, yeah uh, hopefully that's helped you out uh, if you've got any questions please feel free to uh, to give us a shout thanks for watching